just wonderful. Hi guys, my name is Tim and welcome back to Astro Edit. It's July, it's midsummer, it's very hot outside and I'm just taking off some time in the nature trying to shoot some photos and some time lapses. So I hope this will be good. And also in these hot temperatures, always trying to keep a cool head and some cold feet as well. <sighs> ah. Much better. And also, ever since I started making these videos, I always, I'm always thinking about the best music that can go in the background of these clips. And I always love experimenting, I love many different types of music. And I think for uh, astrophotography videos, uh, my main artist on YouTube uh, fits the best. Um, so if you like this music background, follow Vexento at YouTube, so that you won't miss anything of these gems that, that he's purring out there. But as I said, I love experimenting, so maybe in the future you'll hear something else, maybe something that isn't as inspirational or bright, uh, let's say. So let's see what I think fits the best in these videos. Okay, so the initial setup is done. All there in its might. And now I gotta take care of this light. And after that, the polar alignment. And we're ready for the next big picture. And I call this one the pre processing light pollution removal. It's very effective. The polar alignment is done now. I checked the position of Polaris. Perfect. I checked the position of Polaris with this app and I hope I put it in the correct position, but we'll see as soon as the auto guiding starts, I guess. And now that the light pollution, the pre processing light pollution removal has kicked in, I think it's time for the star alignment. I must th say this spooky lightning is maybe very bright and the best thing about the red light that is used for astrophotography. But even red light is even this red light is blinding me right now. So sorry that you don't see anything now. But now it's time, since the three star alignment is done. Now it's time to get to our target for this night. And our target for tonight is a star, a named star. Let's go up in this list. If anyone knows how to pronounce this, feel free to let me know, because I don't know.
and that was quick because in the constellation sickness uh, my last uh, lemon style was Vega and Vega is very close to this constellation so let's set the rest Whoever had the idea of putting a DSLR in the back of a telescope is a genius. Alright, the plan for today. I'm gonna edit this mold right here. I'm gonna take exposures of 180 seconds, 3 minutes. while also being annoyed by music. Uh, ISO 800, pause, pause 2, count 50, I'm gonna... Jesus. I'm gonna bump that up to maybe 70. RAW and JPEG, I prefer the JPEGs, so I can easier sell them out in the end, much easier. I'm gonna update this one. So 210 minutes, exactly 3 hours, so I hope that this will work until 3 o'clock. And then in the corner here, image preview on it, the camera PC, the anti-vibration pause. 3 seconds, because the mirror in my camera is loud as a... I can't think of a good comparison to something that's really loud. White balance center auto. Checking the requirements here. PhD is at all full right now, I see. So let's try to fix, fix that. All right. Focusing is done. Framing is done. And I'm taking the first text, test exposure now. And the thing I like the most about taking the first image, I'm also... Uh, using PhD right now and it's calibrating, uh, it's guiding already. So an exposure while PhD calibrates. Not a good idea but the image in the end is always very funny. Five, four, three, two, one, click and <laughs> So I think that this image will not be stacked in Deep Sky Stacker, but the next one definitely. I'm gonna remove the button of mask now and start the imaging sequence. Spooky lightning again. So the telescope is capturing right now. I'm trying to hold the camera still here. The and one thing I also like about this hobby is that you can get a lot of peace and quiet in the night and get you calmly think about anything you want. And I mostly think about how to make these videos as uh, entertaining as possible. And I'll tr try to orient myself and maybe inspirate myself through um, the videos from an astrophotographer I really uh, like to watch. His name is Trevor Jones. He, he has a channel on YouTube called Astro Backyard. So if you ever watch this, hi, I'm a big fan. I love your videos. Keep always doing what you're doing. You inspire every. You inspire me every single day to perform this hobby. And yeah, so with the music selection, as I said earlier, ah, next one done. The music selection, I try to grab the best thing possible. And I think now I'm gonna just maybe go inside, watch a movie, and check every now and again if everything is running smoothly. 
and if it is, you will see a very cool picture in combination of RGB and H-alpha of the solar region. Clear skies.